Hey guys, Vulture here. So my finger slipped, knocked out, and hit, stopped the video. So basically, Abraham. So these are the Clone High historical figures and Easter eggs. We had Abraham Lincoln who led the to the end of the uh, of slavery. He was our 16th president who had his second term during his uh, during or after his first year. He had assassination. JFK was our 35th. He had an assassination in Dallas. But he was the one who led us to go to, to the moon. Cleopatra was one of the um, greatest Egyptian um, uh, queens who was also the descendant of founder and was also in a relationship with Caesar, who was the uh, Roman Empire's uh, leader at the time. Then there was, of course... Caesar, who was known for being one of the most ruthless uh, Roman leaders who did end up getting assassinated. Joan of Arc was, um, he, she was a leader during a, a, a French Revolutionary War, and she was put to stake um, for cross-playing, I believe it is, uh, uh, cross-dressing. And they also put around that she spoke to herself and basically was going crazy so they called her a witch as well um gandhi was a leader of another revolution but he did let her non-violent one in the in india uh, marilyn monroe um this was a famous um star and uh she got around a lot basically including uh, i believe elvis and JFK, um, uh, George Washington Carver, he was um, a scientist on agriculture who made it easier for us to do cotton, soybean, and uh, other um, crops. Um, Elvis, the king of rock, he basically just made it to where black music was more culturally widened. Um, Eleanor Roosevelt was the wife of... Franklin Roosevelt, but I guess he she was the fifth cousin once removed from Franklin. And they had six kids together, but one died before they can meet go to adulthood. Um Genghis Khan was the greatest was one of the greatest leaders of um the Mongol Empire. He made the greatest and largest empire uh known to date, I believe. Um but he was also one of the most ruthless people. Um in war, I believe, but he was, uh, um, then there's Jay Leno, the talk show, show host with a good chin, the most legendary chin, Paul Revere was the guy who made a horseback ride, um, to uh, warn us of the Redcoats, also known as the British Army, and warn us, uh, to prepare our, uh, defenses for their invasion, well, their attack, Vincent van Gogh was one of the greatest painters. He was very depressed, but he had a good vision that people were interested in his style. Um, Marilyn Manson was a 90s rock artist. Um, Mina Suvari, um, she's just another uh, well-known beauty figure and also... Uh, Um, oh, sorry, she was also a star in, I think, Mar uh, American Pie. Um, there was Jesus Christo, who was just literally a clone of Jesus Christ. Um, we're on Mary Curie, that's the one that we were lo losing. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. Um, oh, she's the first and only to win one twice. Um, and the only person to win a Nobel. Okay, in the second, in two. Okay, yeah. So she was a Nobel Prize winner, basically. Um, and she was the base. Uh, oh, she was a radioactive uh, uh, researcher. Um, then we have Thomas Edison, who I believe just stole a bunch of in inventions and claimed and put his Edison, um, stamp on it saying he invented. 
He was an inventor slash businessman who developed many devices and fields such as electrical power generators, mass communications, sound recording, and motion pictures. Um, he stole so many things from Graham Bell, Einstein. I know for sure Tesla was one of his biggest enemies at the time. Um, oh, we have Hitler, who's just the World War II dictator of, of Germany, who just killed a lot of people, not just Jews, but a giant mass of people. Um, then there was Sigmund Freud. I'm pretty sure I, I looked this guy up before. Um... He was an Australian new neurologist and founder of the uh, psychiatric analysis and clinic method for evaluating and treating path pathologicals. Uh, explained in originally conflicts of psyche. So he was basically a leader of us of the psychological and neurolog neurologist. Okay. Well, that's it for that page. And the next one was Dan Patrick. It looks like he was another star. Um, he was a, an American sportscaster and radio, radio personality and actor. Okay. So he, I think he was known for the NBA announcements. Um, there was Chris Berman, who I believe was another NBA, uh, yeah, another, oh, he was, yeah, he was, uh, not NBA, NFL, he was the NFL announcer, um, then there was Napoleon, he was, uh, I think he was a, oh, I'm gonna actually look this up. I don't want to look up a Napoleon Dynamite. I know it's a good movie, but... Napoleon. He was a French military commander and political leader who rose to... Um, during a, a French Revolution, and... Uh, he was one of the more shorter people at the time. And he was one of the greatest military generals in history. And I believe he took so many things over, except for, like, one eventually got hit, got to him. Ashley Angel. I keep... Uh, this was one of the biggest show uh, show's characters. Um, he was an American musician and actor who rose of the of boy band of O-Town. After the band dissolved, he had a brief solo music career. And uh, only former band member who declined to go on a reunion tour with O-Town. And okay, so Ashley Angel was uh, oh, uh, from O-Town. I had never heard of this. I know it's like the 90s. You have to kind of understand it better. Uh, Sam Adams. Oh, this is what we call, okay, oh, uh, okay, let's see, he was one of Boston's most, um, revolutionary, uh, he was a revolutionary leader, and his ability to harness popular resentment against a par parliament's authority to tax the colonies in a, so I believe this is one of the leaders who made the tea, Boston Tea Party happen. Is basically what this is saying. He went against the taxes that the British were trying to do during the Revolutionary War. Um, there was John Adams. I believe this was our second president. Um, let's see, he was a, was a philosopher. Um, Let's see, and I believe he was the very first, let's see, 
I'm trying to figure out. I know he was one of the first. Um, I think he was... Uh, Crap, what? Hold on. He was under the Federalist Party. Okay. Well, I guess he was a Federalist. I don't know. I think that's the, one of the more sidelined. Um... But he was one of the few that started the parties that now plague our our world today. Then we have John Quincy Adams, which I believe was his son. He served as our sixth president. I know. Okay, so yeah, he was our sixth president, and I believe he was, oh, okay, so he was a part of defeating the, some, of, a little bit of the slavery. He returned uh, some of the slaves to Africa in a Supreme Court case, it sees. So yeah, and he was the, wait, what? Oh, he was the eighth secretary of state. Um, and he was the son of John Adams. And then we had Abigail Adams. I'm trying to make this quick because I do have to go to work here soon. Uh, she was the wife, okay, so this is the wife of John Adams and the first lady to serve as the second lady of the United States and the second lady to serve as the first lady. Okay. And she was John Quincy Adams' uh, mother. That's basically what she was known for. Uh, Jenny McCarthy. She was also a pretty big part of the show. I know she's an American actress. In a television personality and model. Oh, and she she was a part of the Playboy magazine. That's another thing. A uh, little cheeky humor there. Uh, Maya Angelou. She was a poet and a civil rights activist. Okay, so civil rights activist is basically what she's known for. Uh, Buddy Holly. Uh, I know this is another band, because uh, this was during the Ashley Angel episode too. Uh, he was an American singer and writer, and he was in a pioneering the middle... 1950s rock and roll. Okay. So he was one of the few people to help the rock rock thing be a part of American culture. Okay. So let's see here. We have Rich, another uh, Richie Valens. There we go. He, I know, is a, probably another singer. Um... He was a guitarist, singer, and songwriter, and another pioneer of the rock and roll. Then there was Big Bobber. Another musician. Okay. And he was known for White Lightning. And then there was... Jim Croce. Oh no. Jim Croce was known for a plane accident and, and in the this episode he was mentioned 
they rode a very rickety plane. He was an American folk and, and rock writer. Okay. So, but he was mentioned for the po fact that they were driving a single uh, uh, pilot plane. Um, and uh, he was mentioned for, an, for the accident he had. Stevie Ray Van was an American musician and guitarist, frontman of the blues rock trio. Hmm. So he was a blues and rock uh, kind of guy. Um, Leonard Skinner. This was the guy that I believe they said there he had half of, or they had half of this. Oh yeah, this is the rock. It's a whole rock band, so they only had half of this in this show come up. Um, okay. And he was originally known for the name My Backyard. Um, then we had... I don't know what this was. Oh, Martha Luther King Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who made a speech that we need to stop being separated by our color. And we need to come together and have our the same rights. That's His dream was so everyone wouldn't have to... Uh, live and divide. Moses was a h biblical figure who led some people to to a promised lands um, where giants have taken over. But um, he led his people to be do this. But he also had a very direct line to God. But he went against God's rule and went and died to watching over. Looking over to see the land that was promised to everyone. And he divided the Red Sea. Which was humongous uh, back in that, that day. Um, we have Larry Hardcore. Um, this one was very hard for me to find before. Oh, so actually this guy wasn't even, this guy was, okay, sorry, sorry, so Larry Hardcore was just the main villain of one of the episodes from, sorry about that, that's just a clone high OC. Uh, George Washington was our very first president, he was barely noticeable in the show, um, he was our military general during the Revolutionary War, um, and he was called, he was also called the, the father of our country. Um, and he was asked to just become our king. But um, he didn't want us to set up a, mon a monarchy like we did in Britain. Um, and he presided over the convention that drafted the, the constitution. So... He basically was everyone's go-to guy to, to take rule over us. And he also left us with uh, several things that we never ended up listening to him. And one of the things was don't make parties. And what did we do? We make parties to divide our country. Um, we have Davey Coolio, who was a master engineer and audio restorish, restoration um, specialist. Um, and that's really it, I guess. Um, and that's it for that page, and we're on the last one, Ponce. Um, he was a Spanish explorer and, um, was known for leading the first official European expedition to Florida and for serving as the first governor of per Puerto Rico. He was born... Okay, so he was a Spanish explorer. That's basically what Ponce is known for, okay. Then we had Mandy Monroe, I think this is. Mandy Moore, that's, that's her name, Mandy Moore. She was American singer, writer, and actress. Um, raised a frame from a, a single called Candy. 
Oh, and she was also... Who did she play in Tangled? Was she the princess? I guess. I guess she was the princess in Tangled. Uh, she was Rapunzel. Um, John Stamos. I know, I, I'm pretty sure I heard of this guy before. Uh, let's see, he was an American actor and musician. Um, so basically, I think he was from Modern Family. I'm pretty sure. Um, and he he played on, yeah, we don't know General Hospital. General Hospital, okay. And he got a daytime not Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor. Okay. He's also very handsome. Um, there was Susan B. Anthony. I believe this is the woman who made the... Um, she put together a rally to so girls can vote. And she was a woman's act rights activist. Uh, who played a violent role in, in suffrage movement. Yeah, rights of labor, equal pay. Okay, so basically, yeah, she she ran to push for, um, for for a woman to have rights, which sadly cannot be said, even till this day. Like we've noticed it, but it's not doing as well as she probably wants. I mean, and also, women aren't being the greatest that would match what she was asking at this time. It, it, basically, women nowadays kind of just say, we're, we're rulers of this world, which no, no human should think. Oh. Okay, uh, so Catherine the Great was the greatest, longest reigning empress of, of Russia. Reform. Okay, extending borders in the largest territory gains. Okay, so she outbeat Ivor in the terrible in in uh, borders. Um, sorry if I made you guys upset about saying that, but it's true nowadays. No, no woman, man, or child should believe they're above any other person. We're all equal, and it's and it's not looked upon like that. Um, the only thing is your money, your money, and guess what, you take one of these, doesn't change anything, it just means you got a target on your back, okay, well, let's see, Eva Piron, Oh, so she was also a part of the suffrage laws for women. So she kind of was like in that same time and space of Susan B. Anthony. Uh, Winston Churchill was, I believe, a, if I remember correctly, he was during World War II. Um, he was the prime minister of the UK during the World War II. Yeah, basically. And he was there as a soldier. Um, to fight alongside the people of the UK. Okay. And then we have St. Peter. Oh, so St. Peter is a biblical figure who is part of the 12 disciples of Jesus, and he was given the keys um, as the first pope to the kingdom of heaven, and he's basically the person who who is at the gates of heaven and says if you're allowed in or not is basically who, what, he, what his role is. Uh, Nikola Tesla is the next person we got.
let's see here. I know he's known for a lot of stuff. Um, he's in he's inventor and predictor. Um, let's see here. The remote controlled neon fluorescent lights, uh, wireless transmission, um, computers, smartphones, laser beams, X rays. So light and electric electricity is his biggest two things he's ever gone to. Like there's those uh those funky scientific light bulbs. That's what that's what he's also good for. He's also he's made towers that can you don't need wires in between these towers to make electric electricity flow. He's made those. Um he also wanted uh electricity to be free for people. But the government got a hold on that. Isaac Newton was let's see, I think he was born on Christmas. He was also, oh, no, 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 okay, never mind. He, okay. He wasn't, so he basically was the father of gravity and several Newton laws. He, he was the creator of the Newton laws, and he made it to where reality was understood. And once you knew these laws, you kind of can make your own scientific theory on how things go. Um, Henry the Eighth. He was a former king of England. I already see that. What was he best known for? He had six wives and is the legendary appetite. That's literally it. So he hoed around basically. Um, Tubman, Harriet Tubman. She was a. She was the person that led. Uh, the Underground's Railroads during the slavery, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she may use the uh, railroad Underground Railroad Network to save um, approximately 70 slaves. Okay. And then we have Gene Kelly, which I believe is a jazz star. He's the last one we have here. Gene Kelly was an actor, dancer, singer, film choreographer, and known for his energetic athletic dancing style and sought to create a new form of American dance accessible to the general public, dance for the common man. Uh, most known for... He had a performance in American in Paris. And was an award-winning best picture signing in the singing in the rain. Okay, so he was well known for some of the original films that uh, made culture like our culture nowadays. Oh, so he was kind of like the sing. He was like a like the musical films is what he's known for. But anyways. I gotta go to work here soon. I gotta go find some food to make. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.